Hello and welcome to the 12th session of Physics 9. Uh, in this session, actually, second to the last na to. So we're about to finish uh, the, uh, I think, um, second book? Yeah, of Physics 9. Alright, so remember that the focus of this ano, of this uh, book so far was about impulse and momentum. And uh, ganun pa rin ang mga pinag-uusapan natin dito. It's just that we're now proceeding to pages number 18 to 23. But our um, learning competencies is still the same. It's uh, relate impulse and momentum to collision of objects. For instance, uh, vehicular collision. So uh, this session is divided into the following parts. We have associate. Uh, text reading comprehension to. Uh, this is actually um, based dun sa isang research na nabasa ko about uh, content-based uh, teaching or CBT. Um, let's try doing this kind of activity. It's about the science of road safety. And then the second part naman is communicate, which is uh, activity number 67. Uh, it's uh, about awareness and carefulness. Yan. So what are we going to do in that activity? You will know later. And then for the last part, communicate, which is basically uh, starting as well the last uh, parts na rin ng uh, book na to, uh, you're going to do some concept mapping and you're going to uh, just uh, think about the relationship of impulse and momentum. Okay, now let's begin. For associate text reading comprehension, the science of road safety, you're going to read the following selection and then answer the guide questions that will surely follow. Okay, uh, for the purpose of this video lesson, I will be reading along with you. Uh, let's start. Transportation is, a, is very important. Various people with various jobs get to their workplaces through different modes of public and private transport. Services in health and public safety are better delivered through transportation. Goods, both perishable and non-perishable, essential and non-essential, and distributed through motorized vehicles because of their efficiency in terms of time and distance coverage. However, some factors cause accidents in the road involving vehicles. Factors may include vehicle design, vehicle maintenance, and occasional human factors that may lead to minor serious physical injuries and in some cases, death of the driver, passengers, or any pedestrian. To minimize the horrible effects of vehicular accidents, motorized modes of transportation must constantly be checked, its brakes must be checked, the suspensions and the alignment of the wheels must be checked, all of the important and seemingly less important parts of the vehicle must be carefully maintained through cleaning and oiling. However, there are times when even the best maintained vehicle gets caught in accidents because of how the road is constructed. Factors that are related to the road itself must also be taken care of. It is important that the road surface is not rocky and that it has visible markings. The traffic lights and signages must also be well maintained. They must always be functional. In specific areas where traffic is heavier, traffic enforcers must be around to help out. These le will lessen accidents on the road. Now. Say the vehicle is well designed and maintained and the road is at its prime condition. No matter how safe the driver and its passenger and the pedestrians out of the vehicle are from accidents caused by vehicle-related or road-related causes, no body is safe from the driver-related causes of vehicular accidents. Drivers are the controllers of their vehicles, big or small. A vast majority of vehicular accidents are caused by human-related or driver-related factors, and they often involve drunk driving, hearing-impaired or visual-impaired drivers, poor de decision-making, and over-speeding. A vehicle that has high velocity, as you have seen in various activities, problems, and discussions, are prone to high impacts. Their momentum is so high that when they come in contact accidentally with a barrier, example given a car or a road barrier, the impact is so great. If the vehicle crashes or hits something head-on, the car abruptly stops, but the person inside continues moving forward with the velocity it got by moving with the car. In this case, the person will hit the wheel. 
the windshield, or the dashboard. Whichever the person hits, damage is sure. This is where airbags are needed. Airbags will be activated once crash is detected at an instant that will inflate the airbag rapidly right before the person hits something. The airbag will minimize the person's velocity and increase the time for the person to hit the dashboard or the wheel. Increasing the time of the impact as you know it will minimize the impact of the crash. Alright, so uh, that is uh, it for our uh, reading. Hi, I hope that uh, you uh, have understood kung binasa natin. Pero I'm hoping that you know what to do if meron kayong parts na hindi nuggets. You just have to, ano, you just have to um, drag that uh, little dot, red dot, uh, backwards para, you know, ma-rewind siya for you. Now, let's uh, go to these guide questions and answer them one by one. Um, I think, uh, wala namang ano, wala namang actual ding time at maling sagot sa mga to. Like, wala siyang specific na mga sagot. So, all you have to do really is to try and uh, answer the following questions. Uh, based na lang sa ano ninyo, kung baga sa napag-aralan ninyo. Ayan. So, for the first question, Q1, in what way is transportation through motorized vehicles personally important for you? Alright, so mahalaga ba na nakakapag-travel ka, like ikaw, personally, through motorized vehicles? Or do you almost always don't need it? Okay, I suggest that you write uh, your answer down on your uh, study notebook para hindi mo siya mawala. Okay, Let's not pres- if you need more time, you can pause this video. But uh, as of now, we have to move on to the next uh, question. Question number two. What kind of motorized vehicle do you or does your family own? Or what kind of motorized vehicle do you frequently take? Does it have safety features? What are they, if any? If none, what should be added to better ensure the safety of the driver, passengers, and pedestrians on the road? Alright, so this question is actually uh, considering commuters and mga car owners alike. Okay, so uh, if you're a commuter, you don't really own or your family doesn't really own uh, any vehicle, any motorized vehicle, then you can just assume that uh, you're frequently taking one, a motorized vehicle that may not be actually your own. Ayan. Okay, so um, what are the safety features? Uh, you, If you want to, to have more time, if you need more time, you can always pause this video lesson. But if you're done, let's now proceed to the uh, third and I think last question. Question number three. In what way will the safety feature you have seen in your private owned or public, publicly taken motorized vehicle minimize the drastic effects of impact? Use words or other terms of science in explaining your answer. Ayan. So uh, you have to um, you have to review kung ano yung mga uh, terminologies na ginamit natin in the discussions and in the uh, various activities so far, so that you can use them in uh, answering this question. Uh, if you need more time, you can pause this video. But if you're done, I hope that you will just go over your answers and evaluate yourself. Okay, I hope that you're showing through your answers na mayroon kayong natutunan, mayroon kang natutunan sa mga pinag natin so far. Alright, so that is it for Associate Text Reading Comprehension, the Science of Road Safety. Let us now proceed to the second part, which is uh, Communicate Activity Number 67, Awareness and Carefulness. The objective of this activity is uh, for you to appreciate concept of impulse and momentum in minimizing destructive impacts and collisions. And the materials you have to use for this one are the following. So you need a pa- piece of paper, you need pencils and art supplies, basically. Why? Ano gagawin nyo? Uh, this is going to be your procedure. You have to create a catchy poster that will encourage or remind drivers and passengers of vehicles to fasten their seat belts. Now, it is now time for you to activate your creative genius. So I hope that you will be maximizing the piece of paper that you are now working with. Hi, so make sure that your poster will stand out. 
Now, of course, you're gonna need a lot of time for this, okay? So if you're done reading and understanding the procedure, I hope that uh, you're ready for the next uh, part of the procedure. You'll be creating another poster that will encourage or remind drivers and passengers of vehicles to install and maintain airbags. So for this, you have to research on where in the car are airbags usually installed. And you have to make sure that you're maximizing the space that is uh, on your sheets of paper, okay? Now, uh, how are we going to judge your work once you submit these uh, to me or to your uh, tutor? Now, uh, we can use the following rubric. Okay, so, we have uh, these categories, all uh, four of them. We have presentation, and your poster must uh, clearly communicate the main idea and strongly promote awareness for you to get four points. The next category would be criteria would be uh, creativity and originality. Now, you have to make sure that all of the graphics, you know, all the mga ginamit mong mga, um, images are... Uh, actually reflecting exceptional degree of ingenuity parang napa, dapat napakawiti nung pagkahagamit ng mga symbols okay, na chinus mo, na pinili mo uh, to uh, constitute the uh, contents of your poster. Uh, the third uh, criteria naman would be accuracy and relevance of the content. Kailangan um, related yung mga ginagamit yung, yung content ng poster mo dun sa talagang hinihingi ng uh, poster natin, okay? So, yung topic natin, uh, kanina, na-explain naman siguro na maayos for both of the posters. So, I hope that uh, you will be indeed, um, kumbaga, relating everything you'll be drawing on that poster to your theme, to the theme. Now, the last one are the required elements. Uh, the poster must include all of the required elements. Kailangan... Um, it's a poster, well, basically, kailangan, uh, it's, uh, it tends to explain airbags and yun nga, yung mga, yung isa pang topic na pinapa-workout ko sa'yo kanina, kailangan hindi siya like luma lumalayo masyado doon, okay? Or else kahit maganda yung ano mo, yung uh, poster mo, kung hindi naman siya, ano, like hindi niya binibigay yung mga required elements and it's not also related to the topic, you might only get, ano, four, I mean, but that's 8 points of 16, diba? So uh, I'm hoping that you are going to follow this rubric really well. And that's it for Communicate Activity 67, Awareness and Carefulness. I'm hoping na you'll finish these posters soon. Okay, now, I suggest that you pause this video para, ano, hindi ka gaanong malito. Okay, so you pause mo muna to and then kapag natapos ka na sa posters, uh, you can go back and play this. Now, if you're done with your posters, let us move forward uh, dun sa last part, dito sa last part ng ating session for today. It's Communicate Concept Mapping. Ayan. So, uh, in this one, concept map lang siya basically and it's about the relationship of impulse and momentum. Okay. So, you have to, what you have to do here is uh, read uh, and then parang kung connect uh, these concepts with each other. So, momentum is affected by so is it it's affected by what and the momentum can be changed by impulse that is affected by what so basically i'm ha just having uh the, i'm just giving you this opportunity to uh connect uh this these words momentum and impulse dun sa mga formula nila so basically what are the two factors what are the two uh quantities physical quantities that affect momentum and what are the two physical quantities that affect impulse okay now i suggest you draw this on a sheet of paper and then uh, after drawing it answer it all right now if you need more time of course i need i know you, you're gonna need more time you can pause this video lesson and then uh, yeah uh, write uh, your answers mga terms ang naman yan. you may pause it now if you're through, let's now proceed with with the answers. Okay, so momentum, as we know, is affected by mass and volume. And so uh, remember that the uh, yung rho is equal to uh, m v. So uh, that's momentum uh, is the product of mass and volume. Now momentum could be changed by impulse, and impulse is affected by force and time. So uh, that's i is equal to f t. Okay. 
All right. So uh, how many how, how many of these uh, terms missing terms did you get correctly? I hope you got all four of them. All right. Uh, that is uh, the conclusion of uh, this uh, video lesson. Uh, remember that in this uh, session, the 12th session, we uh, discussed um, the following. So the first one is we did an activity. Uh, from associate text reading comprehension the science of road safety and then the next one is also an activity on communicate activity 67 awareness and carefulness and then the last one is also an activity actually no puro pala tayo activity in this uh, video lesson it's communicate concept mapping relationship of impulse and momentum I am so glad that you are still here studying physics with me. I am Sir CJ and I hope that I will see you adit dun sa last na video lesson related to uh, book number 19. Alright, have a good day!